This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. Kathy, did you want to sing along to that one too? (laughs) This is Boomer Life on CL 650. You're joining the conversation now about the journey of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So in the studio with us are CEO Maria Howard from the Alzheimer's Society of BC. The Provincial Coordinator of Advocacy and Public Policy is Rebecca Morris. Author Kathy Borey, uh, author of The Long Hello, has joined us as well. And now on the telephone, we say hello to Sandy Riley. Hello, Sandy. Good morning. <laughs> Sandy is a past president of the board for Alzheimer's BC, an experienced hiker, a longtime friend of the North Shore Mountains. She is no stranger to fundraising. She's been a member of the team Ascent for Alzheimer's, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. She also spearheaded the recruitment for the teams many years ago, and that's where our history developed, and we'll touch base on that ever so slightly. And today, Sandy is here as a participant in the Mount Kilimanjaro Grouse Grind event on the 27th of this month. So, Sandy, thank you. Thank you for being here. And I know you've got a lot to say and you're bursting. But uh, just a quick setup for the event, Maria, on behalf of the Alzheimer's Society, can you tell us what this event is and why it's so important? The uh, event that happens on September 27th at Grouse Mountain is a really uh, wonderful time to, again, raise awareness for people living with dementia. And it's partnered with the uh, Ascent uh, team who are uh, on, on well on their way on Kilimanjaro. And so the event happens at the same time that the Ascent team is starting to approach the summit for Kilimanjaro. And it's really to honor and recognize um, both both groups are, are on the journey, very similar to families who are on the journey for people with Alzheimer's. And on the grouse grind, you have to do seven times to equal the distance on, on the summit for Mount Killy. So t- uh, teams of seven come and, and we climb the mountain and then we, we uh, celebrate the success together. Well, I, I don't know how high uh, Gross Mountain is, but uh, Sandy, I'm sure you can fill us in on that one. But I do know that Kilimanjaro is 19,340 feet. That is correct. So what about grouse? Uh, grouse, well, it's basically, it's pretty close to, um, as I said, to, as uh, Maria pointed out, seven times. And you know what? I ha- don't have the exact feet at my fingertips. I, I apologize for that. But we did work it out that it's close enough that you have, it's equivalent of doing the grind seven times. So this is not the first time you've signed up for this event, is it, Sandy? Not at all, no. Um, we, we, tr- it, we had a wonderful um, break in getting a partnership with Grouse Mountain. It's really a wonderful fit for us and um, a lot of people are never ever going to be able through various circumstances go to Africa but when we see the number of people who can um, just cross over to the North Shore and do the grind, those numbers are just incredible and it's nice that we've been able to form this partnership and um, get some added support. And this, I think, will be my... I think we've been having it now for three years, maybe four. Um, But anyway, how many times we've had it, that's the number of times I've done it. So tell me why you're so passionate about this and and, um, how you got involved with the Alzheimer's Society of BC. Well, no different to many other people when they're touched personally. My mother, um, who was um, parents back in the UK, that's where I immigrated to Canada from, um, my mother was diagnosed early onset Alzheimer's and um, the retirement uh, for my father was 11 years as a caregiver. Um, I went backwards and forwards and helped that out as much as I could, could but um, basically I knew that I needed to help make a difference where I was living and that's when I became involved with, with the Alzheimer's Society and that's probably about 20 years ago. So we'll go back to 1999 when you were actually a member of the Ascent for Alzheimer's team. Um, what makes that such a, uh, that event such a trip of a lifetime? I think for many people, it's, it's, they want to be able to give back. And the people that we have on the team, not all of them are personally affected, but a lot of the people like yourself and like me were, and it becomes a very emotional journey because we're doing it on behalf of somebody else. And uh, we're carrying that person with us, I think, very closely up the mountain. And I just, it's bringing like-minded people together who want to make a difference and this is an amazing way to do that and you've been involved from the start do you 
feel like you've made a difference? I think absolutely. I mean, let's face it, Alzheimer's and related dementias, um, it's huge. The Alzheimer's Society of BC does amazing work. Our staff work so very hard. But this issue is bigger than that, and we need to be engaging more people to get involved to help make a difference. And this is the Ascent for Alzheimer's and certainly the, um, the Grouse Grind, MKGG, are two ways that people can come together and make a difference. And it's only when we, we engage many more people across this province, across Canada, to um, start helping make a difference that we're going, to, we're going to beat this disease. So now, Sandy, you volunteer your time to act as a mentor for um, Ascent for Alzheimer's participants, and you're there basically for almost every step of the way, from the initial interview to the send-off party to their calls from the mountain. And this is a great time to say that's exactly how we met back in 1999. You contacted me. I tell everybody you hunted me down uh, with an invitation to join the team is because my mother had Alzheimer's at the time. And really, it was a good connection. It was a great connection. So long story short, I resisted and recruited other people to join the team, but then finally caved in, did the climb. And it was actually Sandy Riley. It was you who called my father that August day in the year 2000 to tell him that I reached the top of the mountain in honor of my mom. So I know why this is so important and that that connection is so important. Tell, tell us why you think this is so important to have this connection with all the teammates. I think um, just because look what's happening right now, I'm speaking to you. So the kind of caliber of people that we get to do this, the ascent for Alzheimer's takes a lot of time and dedication, and it's very expensive to do. Remember, everybody pays their own expenses. And then on top of that, we ask them to raise $10,000. So it's not a small undertaking. And um, after the event, a lot of the people, especially those who have been touched by this disease, it's their first entry and association with the Alzheimer's Society of BC. And going forward, look how you are still involved, except you won't do the MKGG. And um, we've had um, many past alumni who are still involved, still on steering committees. And I think we've probably had three, possibly four people who've gone forward as board chairs as well. So it's done a lot more than just raise money. It's building a big family. So with the Mount Kilimanjaro Grouse Grind event coming up on uh, September 27th, give us an idea of what that day looks like. Uh, if somebody's never even done the Grouse Grind before, because we can't assume that, you know, all of us go out on the weekends and do this. I know you probably couldn't even count how many times you've done it, but uh, just walk us through the event and how it works and what it looks like. Yeah, well, it's, very, it's a very exciting event. I mean, it really is. And it's true. We do have some people who have never done the grind before. And I want to emphasize this is not about a race. And although we try to form teams of seven people, um, quite often some of those team members actually do do the grind more than once. Some of those teams have probably done, individuals have done it two or three times. So um, it goes off early in the morning and then greeting you at the top when you finally get to the top. There's um, wonderful celebrations, um, a pancake breakfast, there's massages, there's yoga, drum circle. And you're just meeting so many people who have got um, um, an interest in, in an, an amazing cause. There are a lot of past alumni there, and also on that particular day, we take a phone call early in the morning before the sun's even up here, and the ascent team will be at Kibo Hut, which as you will remember very well. On Mount and Kilimanjaro. That, that, <laughs> there you go. And so we try to connect with them at that juncture just before they're setting off on their final summit bid, and um, they will have many of their family and friends back here supporting who will climb the grind that day in their honor. And we're going to send all those good vibes that really need to help get those people up that, that last little slope. Sure. Sounds like a big, giant group hug. Um, with the MKGG event, uh, is there a fundraising target in mind or is there a cost involved? And, and what suggestions would you have for fundraising? Yeah, people can still go and register. And... Um, what we ask is that we ask that people raise um, a minimum of $500, and really that's not, not a huge amount to raise, and a lot of people um, raise far more than that. 
and um, they can actually people can still register right up until the day you might not get a shirt if you leave it too long but um it's i just encourage everybody to get out there and um, become an advocate for for the alzheimer society and yes raise some money i mean uh, we're hoping to raise a hundred thousand dollars from this event sounds wonderful hands up who wants to join who wants to climb oh, okay out of a room of nine oh, there's one there's two and a half well so uh, you've got a couple of new recruits sandy <laughs> Yes, well, include yourself in that, Joanne. Um, thanks. Actually, I'm leaving town on the 27th, but you know what? I can put it in my agenda for next year, and I can also sponsor somebody. All right. That's wonderful. You absolutely can. Um, I'm sure you're going to announce the website um, for that, and uh, you'll see pe uh, people photograph the reason that they're doing this, and they all have um, a fundraising page. And what is the web address that we should go to if it somebody wants to... Um, Maria, hike, have you got that? Or? Yeah, hikemkgg.com. Hikemkgg.com. Sandy, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for all the fundraising efforts and the great connections that you make uh, in, in continuing this conversation uh, for the Alzheimer's Society of BC. Thank you, Joanne, and thank you so much for all you continue to do as well. We can all make a difference. It's great. Thank you. I would like to thank all of the ladies for joining us in today's show. Uh, thank you for being with us from uh, for World Alzheimer's Month, the month of September. Kathy Borey, author and the great story of the long hello that you shared with us. CEO Maria Howard and uh, Rebecca Morris also joined us from the Alzheimer's Society and Sandy Riley. Once again, if you have any more questions that uh, you would like to ask about the Alzheimer's Society or getting in touch uh, to register and find out more information about any one of these events, these fundraising events, please visit the website www.alzheimerbc.org. The better the conversation about Alzheimer's and dementia, hopefully the easier the journey becomes for all of us involved. I'm Joanne Sutton. This is Boomer Life on CL 650.